Hi Anna, how are you doing today? I've been looking at the pictures you showed me and I don't think they're scary anymore. Well that's good to hear. So if you were to put your uh, worry on a scale today about looking at those pictures, where would it be? Mm, maybe about two. That's a really good change, isn't it? Fantastic. So it sounds to me like you're ready to look at a real cannula now. Uh, are you up for that? Mm, yeah. Okay, well I have one here that has its needle taken out. So what you can see here is what would be inside your skin uh, once the cannula had been put in place and the needle was taken away. You can see how soft and thin and squidgy it is. Um, and what we do is we use a syringe to give you the medicines you need, either plugged in here, or sometimes we put this little extension on the end to make it easier to bandage. And then syringe plugs in here. So would you like to have a play with that and see what you think? But there's no needle in here and it's the needle that I'm afraid of. That's fair enough. So I've got one here where the needle is still in place. But what you can see is the needle just allows us to put the cannula in and then the needle comes out and goes straight in the bin as soon as it's in place. Would you like to hold this one? You don't need to touch the pointy bit. Okay, well done. Well, what I thought we'd do is perhaps try putting a cannula in your teddy. And I see you've brought your teddy here. Who's this? Ozzy. Well, would Ozzy like to sit on the desk? Okay. And what we've got here is an Ozzy sized cannula. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Ozzy should look the other way. And he'll need you to hold his paw, and I'm going to put his cannula in this side. Okay, mm -hmm. so give his arm a little squeeze. I'll have the cannula here. We'll tap his paw. We'll put the cannula into his paw, and then take away the needle, which will go straight in the bin, and put a little bung back on the end. And that's him done. Would you like to have a try at doing that? Yeah. Oh, well done. So, here's another cannula. And perhaps this time it can go in this paw, mm -hmm. but I'll hold Ozzy's paw on this side so that he feels comfortable and he can look the other way. Mm -hmm. That's right, just take this bit off here. That's it. Now then hold his paw tightly. Put the cannula into there, that's right, and then pull the needle out. Well done. You'll need to save the little white bit from the end. And then the needle can go safely in the bin. That's it. Job done. Well done. Do you think Ozzy might need a vaccination as well? Maybe. Okay, what shall we vaccinate him for? COVID. COVID would be a good one, wouldn't it? Okay, so this time it would be a little needle um, on a syringe. Again, there's the pointy bit, so you'll stay away from there. Mm -hmm. But what you'll need to do is put the needle just in his arm here and then inject him with his vaccination. That's super. Well done. How do you feel about that? Okay. <laughs> Needle in the bin safely. Mm -hmm. You did it. Well, I think it's time that you had a think about how you might plan for your own cannula. And I've got some ideas here. What do you think might work for you? Um, well, definitely the cream. Um, play a game on the iPad. And um, I want my dad. Can I think about the medicine? Yeah, you might find on the day that you need something just to dampen down the butterflies in your tummy, but it's fine to make that decision then. Okay, that all sounds great. Well, next time, I think it'll be time for you actually to have your anaesthetic. Well done.